When making a promotional video for a product, it needs to stand out and show how great it is in every way. So in this video, I'm going to show you guys how to make that happen with scenery and lighting. Hey folks, Jordi here for Cinecom.net and welcome to the creative filmmaking channel where we share new ideas, tips and tricks twice a week. For today's episode, I want to thank Videoblogs for sponsoring us. They have a huge library of stock footage, presets, templates and visual effects. To find out more and to start your 7 day trial for free, just visit the first link in the description below. Today we're going to make a product video for this old camera book stand. The first thing you want to do is think about the scenery. In which environment does this product fit? That could be a living room type scenery or a clean studio environment. There are basically not any rules about this, just know that the scenery will reflect on the product's message. If it's a commercial, you often want to create a typical atmosphere such as a warm living room and someone is reading a book in the background. But for instruction films or product demos, that could be different. And for the purpose of this video, I also want to keep it more universal, which is why we're building a white studio. I'm using two white foam panels. One I put on a table as the floor and the other one I put up vertical as the background. Of course, you can also go for other materials. Just make sure there's little texture on it. Next comes the lighting. For a clean look, you can simply put two lights on both sides. Very important is that you also create a soft light by hanging a diffuser in front of it. This eliminates those hard shadows. If you want to create some more contrast, dim one of the lights to have a difference in intensity. Now what works great too is adding a backlight. This can be a harder light source. Try to experiment with the position of the backlight. Having it come from the top creates smaller shadows than if you would place it lower. I'd like to play with these lines of the shadows as it creates a nice composition. And if your light is small enough, you can also try to hide it behind the product, which really creates a cool effect. Now this can, by the way, also be a normal flashlight. And finally, we'll work on the details, which really makes a difference. For a beer bottle, that could be some water drips on the bottle or dust from a wooden product. What works great too is a smoke machine. Your lights will reflect on it, creating more depth. Definitely that backlight pops out great. But be careful though, using too much smoke. You just need a tiny bit of mist to create such depth. And now that everything is set up, you can make some awesome shots from your product. Adds movement in your shots by tilting, panning or sliding your camera. It adds more dynamic to your product video. For additional effects, I searched for light leaks on video blocks and overlaid them in post-production. You can even find some additional smoke or other particles to create a nice scenery. Here's a great magical clip I got from their website. Just by playing around with the different blend modes in Premiere Pro, I could make it part of the scene. Do you have some tips for filming a product video? Well then let me know in the comments below and we might pick out a few ideas for a follow up video and of course we'll mention your name. Thank you so much for watching and as always, stay creative.